In the second theme, Rebuild's research shows that conflict forces staff to flee or adapt, or it may be too difficult for them to work. All this affects the delivery of health services. Staff can show great resilience. Often they innovate to continue providing services when core facilities, resources and funding are lacking. HR policies and systems for health workers are often driven by external players in the post-conflict period and don't address the realities of low financing, conflicting political priorities, weak institutions, patchy implementation and gender inequities. Rebuild's work shows the importance of the knowledge and commitment of staff and local level managers and how this can be supported. Local staff and mid-level cadres, commonly female, have shown more willingness to stay in remote areas in some settings. Rebuild's work shows how policy and practice could support more effective deployment and retention of staff in underserved areas for the long-term post-conflict. The three core themes are interdependent. Changes in one will have direct consequences on the others. So an overarching understanding and interlinked approach in these three areas of the post-conflict context is making an essential contribution to building responsive and resilient health systems. Find out more about these themes and how Rebuild's research can help drive the right decisions for stronger health systems and better healthcare outcomes in post-conflict and post-crisis situations.